Good morning, folks. Let's start by analyzing yesterday's CMEs. You'll need to watch closely to see both CMEs erupting on C2, because by the time you get to the Lasco C3 camera, they appear to have merged. Cactus actually had a bit of difficulty separating the two eruptions. Velocity tracking was mixed with start times and frame exits for each blast difficult to determine. And while some particles were registering at major speed as a whole, the CMEs were just above average. Still would have created some strong geomagnetic storms at Earth, but likely would have not been the kill shot. This morning we finally get a look at the beast. She crested yesterday afternoon. Let's go to Helio Viewer so we can see how the umbral fields and corona plasma sit above an active region in sunspots and how it's different to the ambient solar surface. Even after the M flares and CMEs, the active region showed signs of major activity. The fields were surging, we had plasma rain, field aligned ejecta in a northward position, there's even a faint solar tsunami rushing towards the camera and away from the active region. Now, despite the high activity on the limb, Despite the interaction as it turned, the Earth-facing solar quiet takes day number one. She's gone silent. I'm actually more focused on the plasma filaments right now. Got five of them that could affect Earth over the next few days. Solar wind. There's Thursday's blackout. The speed hasn't jumped up yet, but it is coming, and the magnetism of the solar wind thus far, combined with a little extra pressure, is taking sensitive flux for a ride and starting to make Earth's shield unstable. We are still awaiting the fastest stream. On the left, the equatorial extension of the southern negative corona hole is all that's visible about it. By tomorrow, we should have negative IMF and a positive solar wind stream impact. At this point, the incoming hole shows medium force only. Speaking of outages, there will be another space weather data blackout today. That's an 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time start. Eyes on SDO, Gong, and Soho during the downtime. Top stories include a nuclear incident where tritium levels found outside in the snow, just outside of the Hope Creek Station, are 500 times the legal safe level. Experts claim this can also accumulate on rooftops. Dawn has entered the orbit of Ceres. Capture occurred yesterday, and now it's only a matter of time till they release some of the best space images ever. Can't wait. Bring them on. Then this. The February climate report for the United States is out. Significant events detailed across the country, but more important are the charts. Hot out west, yes, but these twos and threes out east stand for the second and third coldest winter ever recorded. In fact, breaking it down even further, whether you go by the daily highs, the daily lows, or the average temperatures, parts of the east were definitively the coldest February in recorded history. Precipitation maps showing mostly drought. And as if this winter hasn't been bad enough, its nightcap is here and breaking more records here in early March. But a nightcap it is. Things are about to change to heat in a big way. We actually mentioned this in regards to a return of tornado season in the March 4th news from a few days ago. Let's go around and do the globe. Cyclone dying next to Africa with some systems all around it. Over in the United States, it is another lighter day with high pressure dominating and the cold temperatures remaining as the top alert for this region today and tonight. Europe doesn't get much simpler than this. Killer convergence cresting here from the North Atlantic lows while the southern system persists for day number three. Clouds are following the convergence and that southern storm. Weather shares from that northern convergence are requested, please. Last but not least, the low is now sitting on top of New Zealand. We have a strange bend to the wind atop Tasmania and the convergence is remaining in the north. The purple weather warnings couldn't match up any better. Folks, a couple of you caught a mistake in one of the recent Deeper Look episodes. We went ahead and fixed that yesterday, and it is Saturday, so we'll have fly on the wall in a few hours. Hundreds of hours of content and growing. Membership button is here. It is extremely expensive at three whole dollars a month, but it is a bit less if you get a whole year. We appreciate your support more than you know. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.